My parents were in church one day. They were trying to go through names to figure out what they wanted to name me. Malachi just struck a chord with them, the messenger of God. They just ended up falling in love with it. And like you said, 29 years later, I'm here. <laughs> and do you feel like your life has lived up to the name messenger of God? I try to. I'm not perfect by any means, but it's definitely a practice I'm constantly in the work of and just making sure that I am fulfilling my purpose as a messenger of God. I'm a man of faith. Really enjoy getting into my faith and giving praise to the Most High for all the things I have in my life. So what does being an embodiment of love mean to you? This is essentially just spreading the same joy that you get, spreading the blessings that you get, and essentially just welcoming people into your space. I think we're in a world right now where there's a lot of negativity and it's very easy to get down on one another. And I think we just need more love, more opportunity to bring people together, bring community together. All right. What's one of the most difficult things that you've experienced and what did you learn? So the transition from professional football into regular work life. When you've grown up your entire life as an athlete and you've been identified as an athlete for a majority of your life, me coming from a football background with my family and brothers, that day is going to come where it's time to transition on to the next thing. And it's definitely something I struggled with just as far as what is that identification looks like now that I'm post-football life. And I think that the work that I'm currently in now with this building community has definitely created that same rush that I used to get on a football field and has helped me create that identity that I'm more than just an athlete, that I'm a complete person outside of the game of football. I love that. All right, what's your favorite way to give love and favorite way to receive love? Favorite way to give love is just, you know, showing it. I'm an energy guy. I believe that the people that invest the energy deserve to have that same energy reciprocated in the shape and form. So for me, if you got my back, I got yours. So I think just showing up powerfully in everything that I do and just making sure that the same energy that I want to receive from people is the same energy that I'm giving out to people. That's what's up. Anything you want to plug, like any project you're working on you want people to know about? You know, Lululemon, we're all around the city offering free accessible sweats for the community. So if you're in Atlanta, please check us out. Like I said, we're here for you. We have safe spaces for you. And ultimately, we just want to bring the community together and continue to do great things. Appreciate you.